This is the Creative Market Free Goods Roundup the week of November 30th, 2015. There are six different free goods this week, but they are free this week only. So if you see something in this video that you think you'll have a use for, just check out the description of this video where I'll include links to download each one of these six different free items. So first up here is Pocket Knife, which is a font. This font includes four different variations of itself, and they are all included in open type font format. So here is the first of the four, which is just called Pocket Knife Regular. So as you can see, it is a sans serif font that's very display font oriented because it's nice, big, and bold, and will do really well as a large title item. I'll zoom in a little bit closer on this so you can get a good idea of the style. So as you can see on these individual letter forms, it's a pretty loose style with really simplistic edges. For example, on this W right here, you can really see the points at which they manipulated these letters, which is Give this a very quickly handmade sort of look to it and it does include all the numbers zero through nine but a very very small selection of special characters so if i highlight this go to type and then glyphs you can see everything that's included so just the most basic punctuation which just kind of adds to the idea that this is really meant for display where you're not going to need a really wide array of special characters or different punctuation options and at the bottom here i typed up free goods roundup so as you can see the stock kerning looks really solid the spacing between the words also looks very solid overall it's a pretty good looking font and here is the second of the four that's included so this one's called pocket knife 3d which as you can probably guess is the same as pocket knife but it has a 3d extrude to it so if you want to give your stuff almost a bit more of a comic book looking feel then this is kind of a cool way of going in there and doing that since all the work is really done for you and this is another variation right here which is called pocket knife bold so I'm just going to drag up, whoops, I'm just going to drag this whole thing next to the pocket knife really quick so you can kind of see them side by side so you can see the difference in the font weight. So as you compare the word roundup in the bold version to the word free in the regular version, you can tell it's a fairly substantial increase in overall font weight. So if you want a version that has a little bit more impact to it, that has a little bit more substance, then this might be a good one to use. One thing I'd say though is some of them like this at symbol, you might want to give a little bit more space around here since the white space is pretty limited in there. You can always just outline these letters and customize that if you end up using this in a display. So if you're displaying something like an email address really nice and large you can go in there and do that or if that doesn't bother you feel free not to do anything about it at all and over here is the last one and this one is called pocket knife marquee so this one basically just has this stroked outline that is offset from the letters themselves so that gives us a pretty cool appearance overall once again this kind of reminds me of almost a comic booky sort of appearance since it has that very fast and loose style to it while being extremely stylized as well and i think this simple offset stroke does a really nice job of complementing the letter forms of these letters right here since it just has a quite impactful look while being a pretty minimal change overall. But that's it for this font. If you think it's a cool font and you have some projects in mind where you think this one might come in useful for, just be sure to grab this one this week. Next up is Nine Photo Bundle, Pine Trees. So, this pack contains nine different JPEGs of various forest images, so lots of trees in this one. And if I go to image and image size, these are about 4300 by 2800 pixels. So they're going to be plenty big for anything you want to use them on the web for or most different print applications as well. And kind of a neat characteristic of a lot of these images is that although they are in a forest, they're all very bright. There's a lot of color saturation going on. So if you're looking for some nice bright forest or nature related images for your blog or perhaps even overlaying stuff like illustrations or logo designs on top of, these might be pretty useful for either of those different things. And this one right here is the last of the images. So a pretty straightforward pack of nine different images of trees in a forest. And like I said before, the cool thing about this is that they are so bright where sometimes when you're deep in a forest, everything looks so dark, it's kind of hard to get the really cool blues and greens from the sky and the trees, but this one pulls it off pretty darn nicely. So if these look useful to you and you want to pick them up for free, just be sure to do it this week. Next up is Painted Pine Trees, Photoshop Brushes. So this is a collection of 10 different Photoshop brushes in the shape of pine trees. So to load those up, you can usually just double click on the ABR file, which should load it up in your brushes palette. But if that doesn't work, just click the down arrow next to your brushes when you have the brush icon selected in the toolbar, and then click on this little gear cog icon in the upper right hand, and then go to load brushes. From there, just navigate to the folder that you downloaded with this pack and then select the .abr file. And once you do that, these 10 different brushes should load up. It seems like the biggest one included in the max height is 734 pixels. So these aren't really huge, but they should be plenty big for pretty much anything you want to throw them on the web with. So I'm just going to apply one of these right here and then zoom in a little bit closer so you can get a better idea of how these look up close. 
So this is at 100%, so that'll be a more realistic view for you. And as you can tell, it has a very cool textured appearance to it, which will also make it really neat for layering multiple trees on top of each other. So I'm just gonna change the fill color to a green, which makes sense for a tree really quickly right here, and then select one of the different tree brushes and then quickly apply that. And then I'm gonna pick a little bit darker green right here from my fill palette and then pick a different brush to apply on top of this tree. So you can kind of see that these have some overlaying effects that look kind of cool when you go ahead and put multiple different trees on top of each other. So this one right here is quite a bit larger than those, so I'll go ahead and apply that. But as you see, as you start overlapping different sections here, it does make some pretty neat effects on the actual overlapping parts because of the textured transparency that these tend to have. So I'll just pick one more right here and do a different color, something like a blue, so we can see how that looks applied to something. So feel free to experiment with different overlappings of colors. You don't have to make your trees green. If you're using colors that tend to blend really well together when they're stacked on top of each other, you might have some really neat overlapping overlapping effects. You can check out some examples of screen printed posters where they might use something like three colors, but the way the colors will overlap will create lots of different colors because of the overprinting effect, which can be a really cool thing when you pull it off right. So maybe that's something to play around with if you're using these to make Christmas cards or holiday cards or whatever the case may be for these trees. But that's it for this pack. There are 10 different brushes in total, all of which are extremely handmade in their appearance and have some pretty cool texturing as well. So if you think you'll have some use for these and you want to pick them up for free, just be sure to download them this week. Next up we have Chalkboard Vintage Mockup Template. So this is a realistic chalkboard mockup for Photoshop, so you are going to need Photoshop to use this. And if I go to image and then image size here, this is 4,500 by 3,000 pixels, so it's plenty big for pretty much anything you're gonna to wanna to use this on. And the way you use this is when you open it up and look at the layers pal right here, there's something called double click. It's a smart object layer, where if you double click on that, it'll open up this layer where you can place in your own work just make sure it has a transparent background so it applies properly. At least I'm assuming it needs a transparent background. So I'm gonna turn off what they provided in here and then turn on my logo right here so that'll go ahead and add this in as I save this. So just save this, close the smart object window when you're done. And as you can see, it automatically applies into this frame right here. In this case, I made this a little bit too big for the frame. So I'm just gonna go back in here and make this a little bit smaller so it doesn't overlap kind of strange like it was. But as you can see, it's very quick to go in there and change that up. I'll just zoom in a little bit closer so you can get a look at the actual chalkboard effects. So this right here is at 66%. So this is indeed a pretty darn large file and the chalkboard effect look pretty darn realistic and I really like the image of the chalkboard itself it's a very cool looking vintage one and also included in here under the board folder if you open that up there's a few different colors so by default it's set on a blackboard but there's also a brown board shown right here and if I turn off that in the blackboard there's a green board below that so some kind of cool different looking boards are also included if you want to use those instead and also there are two different wall colors which is the background wall right here so there's an emerald wall and if I turn that off it goes to this lighter blue but if you turn on this blue wall there right here it's a little little bit more of a standardized blue color and also if you don't want these hooks up at the top here there's a hooks folder that you can just turn off the visibility by clicking on that eyeball which will remove those hooks on the top if you don't want to use it but that's it for this mock-up it's a really cool image of this vintage looking chalkboard and then it has the built-in effects here that give you a fairly realistic chalkboard effect when you actually apply your work in there and it does all the work for you so it's really easy to go in there and do that so if you think this looks cool and you might have some use for it just be sure to grab it this week Next up is Restless, which is a WordPress theme. So this is a blog theme for WordPress. So if you're a fan of the WordPress content management system, this one might be something worth looking into for you. And as you can see right here, it has very large images and is a very standardized blog layout where the posts are really the big important thing on the page. And then if you select a post that you like and hit on continue reading or the image itself, it'll bring you to that post page where you have a nice big image up at the top here, as well as plenty of room for type at the bottom and then a built-in sharing feature. And at the very bottom of all these different posts as well, there are comments so you can go ahead and add comments very easily, which is always a big perk of using WordPress. And as you can see right here, the sidebar is extremely large. It's really wide, and that's because this is a fully responsive theme. So the way they coded this is so that the wider the page, the wider the sidebar right here takes up. So if you want the sidebar to maintain a consistent size, you could just code in a max size, or more exactly, a max width for this to make sure it doesn't extend really huge on a very large page. I don't think this looks bad, but if you want to limit it to take up less of the the screen space you can of course do that and with the sidebar here you have a main navigation so there's like an about us section where if you click on that it brings you to an about us page with a nice big image 
tons of room for type as well as comments at the bottom. There's also a contact page, which is a very standardized contact page where it just has name, email, message. I don't, I think this is German, so I don't speak it and I don't know what that says, but I'm assuming it's an agreement of some sort. I guess that's something to kind of keep in mind too. If you are an English speaker, you might want to change some of these like send and must mean send using my intelligent language knowledge. So feel free to change that stuff up as well. And also in the sidebar here are a bunch of different social icons that you can link off to your stuff. An archive section where it brings you to archives for that particular month and year. And then a search bar below that. But that's it for this theme. It's a nice and straightforward blogging theme that's very cleanly laid out that really puts a big focus on the content, which I think is always a smart way of doing it. So if this looks cool to you and you think you might get some use out of this one, just be sure to grab it this week while it's still free. And last up here is faux wood hand painted patterns. So this pack contains 19 different JPEGs of these wooden textures that are kind of stylized. And it also has an Illustrator file that has just this line work as a vector. So if you want a vector file to make your own in a much larger size, they do include that as well. And the base size of these JPEGs is 3600 by 3600 pixels. So it's plenty big for most things on the web or even print. And it's something worth noting that all 19 are the exact same, just with different background colors. So I'm not going to show all of them. I'm just going to quickly go through these five that I have right here to show you that there are quite a few different colors included and alternatively you can hit Control u on a pc or command u on a mac to bring up hue saturation and then slide that hue bar around to very quickly make more custom colors if that's something you want to do you can also adjust the saturation level if you want to or the lightness level to get even more colors out of this or hit the colorize button and then you kind of get a completely overtone of whatever color it is that you are selecting right there and these also have a pretty cool texture at least if you're using the actual jpegs that's kind of like a papery texture so they are stylized in that way Way as well. If you don't want that texture, just use the Illustrator file instead and then don't apply any sort of texture over it when you bring it into another program or export it outside of Illustrator itself. But that's it for this pack. Very straightforward, 19 different JPEGs as well as an Illustrator file of these textured stylized wooden patterns right here. So if you think you'll get some use out of this one, just be sure to grab it this week while it's still free. So that's it for this week's free goods, and do remember they are free this week only. So if you saw something you liked, just check out the description where you'll find a link to download all those different free items. And also something a little bit different this week, Creative Market is doing a 30% off sale on a select few items from the store as an entirety. So if you want to get some good deals on paid goods as well, you can go ahead and check out this page that I'll also link in the description if you want to pick up any of these different items. I checked out many of them, and there's some really cool stuff in there. So if you're looking for some premium stuff, feel free to check that link out in the description as well. But as always, if you found this video helpful, please like and favorite. And if you want to see this stuff every week, please subscribe. This video is released every Monday, so you know it's free this week on Creative Market. Thanks so much for watching.